Hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to another RimWorld series. This is episode numero uno. So we're going to go ahead and create a new world. 400 by 300. And then we're going to use for the seed in case you want to play along, in case it does a little interesting map. No heat, please. Okay. As you can guess, I wasn't too happy with the heat in the last level or the last uh, world I had. So... We're doing a new colony. I'm using the Arbalest uh, uh, research mod, and I've got a, I've got a couple of little extra mods. I'm not going to quite tell you what they are just yet because I don't know if they're going to work out or it's going to be horrendous. So, and I'm actually going to play around with this at the moment. So I'm going to go for the nice one. So, <clears throat> so with this one, it's nice. She only counts population wealth when doing raids. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to do rough. Okay, wow, that is a lot of worlds I created. I should really uh, sort, sort some of these out. So let's go ahead and select. Now, trees, trees, trees. Trees was a problem last time. I just ran out of wood. So I think in, I'm, mm, I might go for a mountainous area. So it's not freezing, but it might be a little bit hot. Hmm. I don't want it too hot. So let's, let's maybe do it on the border of of this so it's gonna be a little bit colder mm, slate and marble what do i want to limestone i don't think i've done a um i've not done a marble uh biome for a while so i might go for ooh limestone marble and granite it's a bit cold but yes i like it let's go for advanced as well I'm going to expand it a little bit. I'm going to start the starting season in... Let's start off in uh, spring. Okay. Excellent. Now, make sure I don't get some potato people again. So, we're looking for incapable of none, first of all. Okay. So, nervous. Mental break threshold. Hmm. Good at medicine, great at cooking. Okay, at ooh, you're pretty good at a lot of stuff actually. Yeah, I'll do it. You, you'll do. So next, incapable of none, too smart. So you're gonna argue with people, trigger happy. Ooh, aiming time minus fifty percent. Now does that mean she shoots fifty percent quicker, but fifty percent less accuracy? I think that does. Um, you're good at construction and good at crafting. Hey, you all have, we're having you. Now, I don't think I've got a good grower yet. Not really. You're six, but you're going to be, <clears throat> you're going to be busy either cooking or what else can I have you do? A bit of crafting. Um, let's have a little look. Right, I could do some high animal training. So, you've got level 10 in animals and 10 in construction and you're good at growing. You like fighting with your fists, you're green thumb and you're gay. Oh cool, I don't think I've ever, I've ever played of a, a gay character before so that'll be, that'll be pretty interesting. I have a bit of bromance going on so uh, yeah, let's go for that. Let's see what the world's like. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. Okay, so here we go. Here we land. Okay, first things first. Weapons. Okay, you're the only one that's good with a gun. You can have that. Now, who's my brawler? You. You can have the knife. And you can have the pistol. Now, as of always with this mod, it's the it integrates the combat realism mod, but it doesn't actually. You don't need to install it as a standalone thing. The only thing you do need to install is the um, community core library. Uh, so, if you got any, if you guys have got any queries about getting this mod to run, just give me give me a shout, and I don't mind doing a little setup video for it because it took me a few attempts to get it working. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's making my pants tingle just yet. There's no 
secret rooms or Ooh, there could be what is that what's in there there could be something in there there's a nice room over there i can see some uh let's have a little look and see where the steam is i mean i always look and build near this near the uh, steam geezers and then don't actually survive long enough to use them but it's the fourth accounts oh we've got muffalo okay so we've not got one over here but was, there is one there so in theory we could dig into here or we could just go and protect this area now i've never actually i don't think i've ever actually done it on a map where let's go and put yeah i don't think i've ever done it on a map where say for instance i just go that's all my land there and build into it like that i don't know if you can get an invasion force coming in from the side you know what i'm gonna try it it might be ter it might be a terrible idea but we'll see so we're gonna use this as our temporary dumping ground even though it's out of doors so let us unpause allow allow make sure they're all on hauling yes they are let's get all this stuff hauled right where's my components there we go okay that's everything selected i do believe what's going on here mr tortoise why are you bleeding everywhere okay you've got a bit enough tail naughty naughty wild boars okay the silver there that's not an immediate concern i'm looking for nom nom so we're looking for any food there's a grizzly bear there oh there's some more packaged meals how many is there wow three whole meals mm -mm -mm. oh some here as, as well though so let's get them all uh queued up what's that that's a cougar okay right let's get let's get a little bit of a base oh wow yeah we've chose a good place to, to <laughs> start here haven't we right by a right by a bear okay so i'm going to straight away i think let's stick the workload on automatic well manual sorry and we want at the start until we've sorted everything out we want hauling on priority and we want whoever's good at construction to concentrate on that and we also want plank cutting as quite a high priority because because i'm gonna go and do this so i don't think i've actually paused and let people read this colony manager so this is one of the mods that's added to it so it allows you to set targets for production hunting logging and animal husbandry what marrying animals no i know what that means really okay each of these can be set through the manager of screens when you set a target a pawn with a manager job enabled will occasionally review your targets and designate people to do stuff so you need those they're the two requirements you need the job enabled and you need a manager's desk so i've not actually got a manager's desk at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and say i would like wood 500 Mm, might be quite a lot that let's, let's be a bit a bit more realistic i want 200 wood and i want you to manage it for me and that'll make my life so much easier there you go okay let's stick some uh hobo beds outside you're all sleeping over there and one of the things we want at the moment at the start is steel research bench uh, you may be looking at the screen thinking, yes, but Shirley Rocks, why have you got just generic hopper and refrigerated hopper? That seems to be, I've actually added the combat core vanilla tweaks. So that seems to have added a few little extra things. I've not got anything else, I believe, new at the start. No. Mode. No. Ooh, we need to put that down as well. Animal sleeping spot. We started off with an evil cat by the look of it called Community. Okay a community cat really <laughs> okay let's go ahead and put our um manager desk down misc no it's not misc what am i talking about where is it is it production do i have to do i have to add it where is it hmm I don't know where it is. 
I must have to research it. Okay, we are slowly building. We do need to get grow zones put down because I always run out of food. Okay, let's just do some massive grow zones. I'm going to go for 10 by 10 just because I can. And we're going for two. Two lots of potato because that's all we can grow at the moment. It's really useful and we've got wood coming out of our ears. So we're okay with wood and you can all grow if you're not doing anything else. Okay, we've got research going now. So let's go straight ahead and we're going for foundations, I think. Uh, yeah, because we need the basic tools ASAP. Okay, let's check them out what they're all doing. Hauling, hauling, hauling. I mean, it's probably a bad idea me actually designating um, the wood at the moment because I need the tools. Because you start off with terrible, ter I think you're pretty much like Minecraft and you're just punching trees with your hands unless you get the uh, items. Now, I want to go and improve this. Well, boost this. Because we want research to commence ASAP because we need the tools and stuff straight away. Right, hauling silver, hauling wood. Okay. Resting. Resting. Stargazing. Okay. It's raining. Great. Okay. That's that started. We've got 30 males, 24 med kits, nearly 300 wood, 350 steel, 474 silver. So, we've got a lot to do. Let's get a... Um, while we're feeling a generous mood, let's get some, uh, let's do some graves. And I'm going to put the graves down here as a, a warning to people not to, uh, not to step up on my turf. Okay, uh, we don't need any of these other things at the moment. We could put a joy thing down actually, so let's put it next to there to annoy the guy who's going to be doing the research. Ooh. Okay, you're chopping that down because you're building graves. That's okie dokie. Right, now let's have a little look at this. So, uh, ah, I did, I did this mistake last time. That is not the research skill. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. There you go. There's the research skill. And that means I've messed that up. So, let's do that again. Uh, let's do construction as one. Mm, yep, okay, so scratch wherever you are. There you go. You should start doing some research now. Nice. We're building graves. I don't know why graves are such a priority. Oh, we're not be good if they had a fight. Come on, bear versus cougar. Who will win? I'm not gonna, I was going to harvest some fruits, but I don't really need to at the moment. We're just waiting for the research to commence so we can uh, start building stuff. I mean, as you know, all this stuff is actually still classes inside that, so that's all degrading still. Is that poor little bunny getting attacked then? I can definitely hear a little bunny getting attacked. Okay, maybe these two are actually going to uh, start planting the crops in a minute. No, you're going to have a nice meal. Okay. These graves must be a terribly important thing for them to make. I hate it when they do stuff like that. And you're just thinking, I just want you to... I want research and I want you to build stuff. Well, not build stuff. I want you to, uh, you know, get my crops put down. And it's like day two already and already they're still not doing it. Okay, we're just waiting for daytime to come again. Come on. 
There we go. You're doing some useful. Let me go and let me sort this out. Let me sort this out. Right. There we go. That should be enough to kick your ass into gear. No? Yo, why are you cleaning? Cleaning is priority three. So. How's about no? What? These are just ridiculous. Right, let's, let's cycle these again. I don't know why you're deciding to just clean everything. Okay, so we've got foundation level. Let's, uh, let's go for the next one. Uh, I'm going to go for food preservation next. Uh, which, this is one of the uh, mods you might have spotted. I don't think you... Yeah, you might have spotted that on the research thing before. So it allows me to build a smokehouse, which means I get raw meat and I can actually preserve it so it lasts longer, so... Scratch is the only one that's doing his uh, job at the moment, so I think I'm going to bump these up to growing. Because they are, they are annoying me. What is it? Let me... Hmm. Oh, you know what? They can't grow. It's the cold season. What? That is ridiculous. It's it's actually spring, but it's too cold, so there's not a lot they can do at the moment. Uh, and that means there's not really much. <laughs> there's not really much anyone can do at the moment. I mean, I suppose I might as well do a, a dumping ground and let's get this tidied up a little bit. So um, I don't want to dump too far. So let's just do a biggish area there and let's move all that stuff because. There's not really an awful lot for us to do at the moment, so there we go. We can de deconstruct that and get some more stuff, I guess. Okay. Move that stuff. And we're going to get production on the go, so crafting spot. Let's... Uh, Let's just stick the crafting spots, say, for instance, there. And we want add a bill, and we want basic tools, and we want three basic tools, and we want someone who's good at crafting. So you're 10, but you're re. No, you're not researching. There you go. Let's get some basic tools built. Nice. I've already equipped the tool. Ooh, some pretty swag quality there. Superior. Okay, let's see what else you can make. Uh, stone arrows. Uh, club short bow. Let's, let's go ahead and go for it. Let's make three short bows. Okay, that's one. Oh, I can see a bit of uh, romance in the air coming. Wow, that's so quick. That's two good and one superior. Excellent. Right, so we're going to need some arrows for those. So let's go ahead and make, say, for instance, uh, let's do a stack of 100. Okay, there's the visitor. visitor. Oh, they're leaving. Let's uh, quickly trade with them. Uh, Boar meat components. They want to buy the bows off me. Excellent. For uh, $14 or $18 for that. Um, I don't really want to anything off at the moment. So, goodbye. Yeah, we need to rapidly get uh, hunting, so... Let's uh, get a steel butcher's table put down. Um, we're going to have to put it around here. I can't actually see when we're crafting spots. It's there. I'm not too sure which way around it is. There's the workstation. That's okay. That's good. Okay. My colony. 
this from henceforth from this time shall be known as um the colony of mustard of the beard there we go okay that's a tribute to i remember i used to be a part of some forum years ago when somebody actually told someone that rubbing mustard on your beard actually makes it grow better and strangely they believed them right so we want more wood i'm not i don't really care what i chop down at the moment so there we go give us some more wood okay let's make sure they've all got plank cutting yes they have And then we're going to start doing some, some uh, hunting in a minute. Once we get these down. Okay, down to 16 meals. Not ideal. Okay, I've, I can now make the, sh the uh, food preservation. Nice. Now, let's go for next. Hmm. I want walls. Okay, let's go for walls. And if you look now on the production, I can now make a smokehouse, which uses wooden blocks, which I've not got any blocks yet, so I can't make it. Okay, he's, he's busy hauling. He's loving the hauling. Okay, we've got a mad animal. Squirrel's gone mad. Let's see if I can actually kill this without wasting any ammo. So, I don't want you. Let's see. I don't want to disturb you or you. Uh, I'm going to have to disturb you, aren't I? Okay, let's give you the short bow. Okay, and give you arrows. Okay, let's switch you to aim shot, draft, and stick you on guard duty down there. Let's see if I can spot this uh, animal coming. Where is it? You can usually spot it coming. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. I literally can't see it coming. That's a squirrel it said, didn't it? Pretty sure it said squirrel. Whoa. Here it comes. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, what a shot. You are Robin Hood. <laughs> what a glorious shot that was. See what sort of uh, damage we did. Oh yeah, we destroyed its liver. Yeah, you won't, be, you won't be coming messing around with us again. Make some more arrows in celebration. Okay, you must be nearly done with the hauling so far. Okay, you still got a little bit of hauling left in you. I mean, to be fair, I have I have targeted a ridiculous amount of stuff to uh, haul. No, just leave it there. Let's see if you'll do something a bit more useful. There we go. I forgot about them ones. See? Growing time was here. Ah, oh, growing time was here and you were just messing around doing all that. Right, get planting. I think we've got enough... Uh, we've not got a huge supply of arrows, but I want to get this food down. So let's speed it up. Yeah, I know, but... It's, the potatoes just aren't ready yet. You're going to have to wait. Okay. 
We desperately need food. Okay. We can do walls now at least, so we can uh, seal that up. And start thinking about doing separate rooms for all of these. Um, I might just do some basic... Uh, Let's do some basic rooms for them um, without much digging. So there's not really a lot of the, the terrain I can utilize around here, which is a shame. Um, I mean, I could do, do stuff like this. It's going to end up in a ridiculously big room. <laughs> ah, well, there we go. Look at these for lux luxury, <laughs> luxury rooms. Let's get, let's get some uh, walls put up. Okay. Wow, you got a swag bedroom there. Look at the size of that one. Right. I want. Oh, I, st I still can't do a decent uh, room. Not room. Sorry, bedding. Bedding is the word I was looking for. Right. Let's do. You can all eat outside. Al fresco, yep. Okay. Uh, which way out? Which is the right way around? Okay, we're getting the rooms built. That one's inside now. The bear looks like it wants to move in. It's not for you, bear. Not for the likes of you. Ooh, we've got a wanderer. A villager named Osaka. Cool. 48 years old. And he's already hauling stuff. He's, he's setting off and he's hauling components for us. So let's have a look. You've got a skill level of 13 in mining. Oh, yes. Uh, you're cold tolerant and you're a bit of a slow poke. But I'm going to forgive you. Free colonist. Yes. That means I'm going to have to do, let's add another tool to this. Okay, you're currently just cleaning at the moment, so let us have, let's add you to the grow crew. Uh, are you any good at crafting? Hey, you're pretty good at crafting. Make your own tools, hopefully. No, you're not. Okay, you need materials, so we need wood. Uh, uh, need wood. Should be getting wood from here, though. Let's keep an eye on you. Yeah, you just. Yeah, we don't want you cutting down trees, so let's. We're gonna go ahead and. Oh, you've stolen the wood. You've stolen my precious wood. Okay, I've just researched uh, construction now. So I can do charcoal now. I can do ornate beds, vents, all sorts of good stuff. So let's pause it again quickly. Uh, I'm going to go for construction table or bench. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like Scratch, my researcher, is actually my chef as well at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that. We shall keep an eye on that. Now I've got, I noticed I've got some uh, squirrel skin there, so I might be able to, in a little bit, do a lot more, um, make some bit more exciting beds. I'm currently finishing all these rooms at the moment, that's where all the wood seems to be going. So let's go ahead and just stick these in separate rooms at the moment, so. Um, I know Osaka hasn't got a room, so Osaka, new to the colony, you've got your own swag pad. Okay, and we want one in there. And let's just bring in... That's your room. Now, Osaka, can I quickly... Yeah, let's make you your tools quickly. No, you're making arrows. That is not good. That is not what I wanted. Okay, let's move. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. That should uh, boost the priority. 
Okay, come on, make your tools. Oh, we're short of wood again. You had one job to do. Right, I'm going to build tools for you. Get that room finished, and then that's going to be it for this episode. I want, I want to end on a, quite a positive, we've done stuff episode, so... Come on, come on team. Wow, that bear has just eaten that squirrel. Okay, second room going up. We might have to. Let's, uh, who's good at plant cutting? Wow, no one's good at plant cutting. Um, hmm. Let's make some of these. Let's have a couple of dedicated plant cutters. Okay. That's the trouble when you harvest the uh, trees that aren't fully grown. You don't get anything from them. Wow, Osaki, you're just like terrible. I mean, at least you come with a gun now. That's one consolation. Oh, we've got a raid. Okay, let's take a little peek at them. Hopefully it's just going to be one. Yep. John the Butcher. Who's from the Bloody Beavers and he's got a steel shiv. Well, I've got about three guns, so... Hopefully that's going to bode me well. In fact, let's go ahead and do it, start doing some uh, security. So, I want to uh, protect this area down here. So, I can't really block that bit because I've got the steel or something there. I mean, I could. Hmm. Oh, not steel. So, what am I talking about? When you say a word and you think, what are you, you're just talking waffle. Yeah, let's do a moat there. Get this moat up. Oh, the beginning of the, the beginning of the assault. Where are they? There he is. I can see you. I can see you over there. Right. Right, let's pause. Let's run up. Let's finish building them actually. And let's start getting our uh, our squad up. So draft. Um draft and that's going to be it for now okay so you you've got your bow you go there you've not got a weapon because you're my brawler and I'll let you carry on building actually he's not got a gun has he no he's not he's got a shiv okay so let's Actually, I'm not. I'm not too worried about them getting to cover at the moment. Let's just get right there, so there's no friendly fire instance. Okay, because it looks like he's just going to come straight at. Hmm, who's he going for? Says he's going straight for my base. Let's go behind a. Pa let's go. Let's hide behind a wood a little bit. There we go. Not the wood. The stones. Right, you retreat. Okay, I might actually, let's do this. Let's see if this works. I know this used to work. Let's see if we can lead him a merry dance. Like Benny Hill. Oh, excellent. That, that worked a treat. Right, so let's look at you, character. So, uh, you're a farm boy. You've got melee 12. Abrasive, trigger, happy and gay. Well, you know what? This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. It could well be. So, at that point, we're 35 minutes in. We're just about to get our first prisoner. So, I think this is an excellent point to leave it. So, uh, fingers crossed that, we do, that this colony is going to be the one that takes us to the stars and we escape. So, that's it for now. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this. And I hope... Um, 
What do I hope? Yeah, I hope, I hope you guys enjoy watching it. And I hope I remember what I'm going to say. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm Shirley Rocks. This is RimWorld Alpha 13. And I'll see you in the next video.